you have the questions ready. We should start with. Okay, ready? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Red wine in a can. All right. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh my god! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Turning 30. Wow, this is good. Nice to It's my first time trying this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have here Joan! Joan Day! Joan Day! Joining me for our wine spill. Yes. We wanted to do a special one to say goodbye to our 20s. Yes. Because we'll be turning 30 in less than a month. Like in three weeks or so. Yeah, but by the time this video goes up, my birthday passed and your birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so we asked you guys to ask us some questions regarding our 20s, mm -hmm. um, how we feel about turning 30. So thank you everyone who submitted the questions. I just want to say before we begin that we're still figuring it out. That's um, going to be our answer okay. for some of the things. So let's just get started. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Has adulting ended for you? <laughs> One, two, three. No! no! <laughs> it's just the beginning now, I feel like. I feel like it's gonna be a forever process. Mm -hmm. Because every year you are growing, right? Yeah. I guess like when you are a teenager and you just turn into an adult, then it's like, oh yeah, I'm an adult now. But then once you're an adult, it's gonna keep, that's gonna keep happening, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was like an adult since mm. I started living on my own. Before oh. that, I still felt like a teenager. Mm. And I read somewhere that you're not technically considered an adult until you're like 25. Oh, so, really? So yeah, it's only been five years since we've been adults and it's co still continuing. Um, I still feel very much lost at yeah. times. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't have everything on lockdown Girl. financially or mm. mentally or in all aspects. So right. we're still figuring it out. And yeah. that's why I'm like, when is my adulting series going to end? And never. Like, never. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to end. It's never going to end. Do you guys see each other doing wine spill videos in like 20 years? Yes. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> we'll be 50. I know. We'll still be enjoying life, getting together, drinking wine, having girl talk. Right. I feel like the alcohol choice might might change uh -huh. over the years. Mm -hmm. Like maybe like a stronger drink, but I feel you like... You already drink strong <laughs> drinks now, though. You like I'm like whiskey. into whiskey, but oh. you know, we're going to keep it wine spill. I feel like we're going to like wine for a long time. And our friendship is gonna be like fine wine. Mm -hmm. It's gonna age really well and beautifully. <laughs> and we are, we're also gonna age like fine wine. Oh my gosh, I know. Thank you guys so much for leaving comments about how we still look 20. <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh, you guys are 30? I know, thank you guys. Thanks. Asians don't reason. Oh my gosh, no, but it hits. There's like a meme That's about true. how it hits you all, all at menopause. Sudden. Yeah, and we're gonna get those ajuma perms. Yes, and, and the colorful t shirts, colorful mm -hmm. hiking gear. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. that'll never be us. <laughs> we're yeah. gonna stay sassy and stay sassy, moody, yeah. classy, bougie. <laughs> I said that ratchet. so well. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, ratchet at 50. <laughs> You both seem very driven. Did you ever feel lost in your 20s and how did you deal with it? I mean, I would definitely say Joan is really driven. You are too though. No, but I don't work at your level. No, no, I no. don't work as hard as you. No, but like the thing is, you know how your contract with um, your entertainment company, when it ended, you literally went 180. Mm -hmm. You did. You pretty much said yes to everything, no matter how like demanding it was. And when I saw that, I was like, oh wow, like super driven. And you're very good at what you do. I think uh, when they say we're driven, I think what they see like now and how much you have transformed from like after you left your company to now, like you are so driven. I always say that to you. I'm always like, dude, I wish I had the power to like go to radio after a long day and end at 10. Like that is, that requires energy, you know? So give yourself credit. I always say this to you. <laughs> I know, but... Well, like a big 
chunk of my life of my 20s mm-hmm. was spent as a k-pop idol mm-hmm. or in the industry not this you were a k-pop <laughs> idol yes no i just don't like the word idol oh yeah 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 uh-huh. yeah um in the k-pop world seven mm-hmm. years of my life actually from the no actually no, a little training. more than that yeah so from like 21 to 27 yeah 28, that's 27 almost a decade yeah, I felt very lost because there mm. were so many moments or points mm. in the career where it was like, it was so unstable, you know? It mm-hmm. seemed like we were doing well one second and then it seemed like we weren't. Right. And then I was just like, where am I going to be, you know, in know. like five years? Because you never know with the entertainment right. industry. You never know where you're going to end up. You might be doing super well, but it might be downhill Mm. from there. You might not be doing well, but then all of a sudden you get super lucky and you get like this awesome opportunity Mm -hmm. and you end up being like a superstar. Mm. So I think I always felt a little worried and just unaware, uh, unsure of Mm. what my life was going to be like. Right. And how did I deal with it? I think, you know, this question, there really isn't an answer Mm. because... When life life goes on, right, you're gonna just follow along. Like I think, how it, how you react to certain outcomes or opportunities, it's all so random. And I think that's something I'm learning like more and more now. Like you cannot predict what's gonna happen. You can't have a five year plan because look what COVID did to us. You know, mm-hmm. like I none of us predicted this. So. How do we deal with it? We just kind of like go with it and we'll figure it out on the way. To be honest, right? I don't think there was like a specific answer for me to be like, yeah, this is how I handled my crisis at the age 22. I feel like I just went with it. I went with the flow and here we are now, yeah. like, right? And that's just reality. Yeah. I feel like everyone has a different journey. Everyone has a different journey. Like your life as a trainee and idol is so different from how I started my career too, mm. even, right? Yeah. So you can't predict anything. That's just something I learned mm-hmm. more and more throughout this pandemic. Mm-hmm. What are some things you regret not doing in your 20s? Things- Where were you 10 years ago? 10 years ago, I just got to Korea, Korea. Yeah, and started training. Oh. I graduated high school in 2010 because my birthday was late. Mm-hmm. I know you graduated a year before yeah. me, uh, but I'm 2010, I graduated then, and then I went to college in 2011. Mm. Yeah, that was like my freshman year, sophomore year. Oh wow. Yeah, 완전 달라지. It's not really me not doing it, Mm -hmm. it's more of like I didn't get the chance to do it because I was a trainee and I was in the entertainment industry but Mm. I really wish I could have worked like part-time jobs Mm. because I think it would have taught me the lesson of like how valuable money is. Mm. When I was training, Mm. I basically lived off of my parents' allowance Mm -hmm. from the year like 20 till basically when my... Um, contract contract ended. ended. I didn't really think much of it back then. Mm. I was just like, oh, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm lucky. I don't have to work a part time job. I don't have right. to make money. Um, but also, after getting out of the contract and looking back, I realized that I thought making money was so easy. Mm. At the same time, I didn't think it was because I never got paid while I was doing ladies' yeah. coat stuff. But then I was like, oh, I thought that was normal Mm -hmm. you know in the industry after i ended and i started working and getting paid on my own Mm -hmm. i was like damn it's freaking hard to make money yeah so if i did work more part-time jobs i think it would have given me a sense of being able to be more hard working you are hard working no okay like i will say this from my observation Mm -hmm. what idols do like i know you hate that term what you guys do is a lot of work. It may look easy for a fan or a viewer, but the time and effort that goes into dance practice, singing lessons, making the like making a song, singing the song, recording it, and performing it in front of hundreds and thousands of people, and not just that with the whole online world, it's not just hundreds and thousands of people. It's going to get, you know, it's gonna get reused and re-uploaded so many times so you literally are doing so much work and it sucks that 
you guys feel so undervalued for that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like what you did from the beginning to now, like, I would have never been able to survive that because I just, my temper, like, I don't know, I feel like I just wouldn't have been like, oh, I can't do this. But I don't want you to feel like, oh, I wish I did that, I wish I did that. You just got fucked. Like, honestly speaking, you did because a company should, you signed that company, the contract because you thought that they were gonna pay you, that they were gonna, um, oh my gosh, I hope I don't get canceled, but I'm not gonna audition or anything, so whatever. But it just seems like, um, they just took advantage of all of your guys' hard work because I've met your members. They all work super hard and even you too and the time like time is so valuable As we age I learn more and more about how like precious time is mm -hmm. and the fact that they took seven years of your life Never paid you for any of that overworked you all the time Like when I first met you you were like I have to go to practice. I'm like for what? And then you're like, oh, just, I just gotta go practice this song or dance. And it sucks to see that you feel like you didn't work enough in your 20s because everything you were doing as a trainee is work. Mm. That was your job. Yeah. They just didn't pay you for it. Yeah, that's why I think mm. entertainment companies mm. should pay their artists even if it's a little amount even yeah. if it's like a small five or ten percentage right. because i think when you see that your hard work pay, mm -hmm. hard work pays off and you see that money in your bank account mm -hmm. it drives you to work harder. harder i know some people may be like well you have to use your passion and you know you have to follow your passion and do it out of love yeah but i know a lot of my fellow k-pop idol friends mm -hmm. who weren't doing so well and then they started doing better mm -hmm. and they started getting paid little by little yeah i remember seeing how driven they were by that yeah. and how motivated they were i know not a lot of companies are financially well off mm -hmm. to be able to do that but i think it's just like basic exactly yeah. courtesy or yeah. like just how we run our country like even like economy and whatnot but you know even that it sucks to hear oh my gosh we're like exposing this industry right now like for our 30s video they have money they just use it in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yeah, that's true. Exposing now. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be like, who is this girl, Joan? I was like, never worked in the entertainment industry. And I'm like, how does she know so much? And it just sucked <laughs> because I was so much older than the other yeah. people in the industry. Mm. You know, I debuted at a pretty late age. Mm -hmm. It was like 22 or 23. Yeah. And everybody else was still in their teens or like early 20s. So it was kind of okay socially acceptable for them to live off their parents allowance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but here i am at like 26 27 not being able to do things i fully want because mm -hmm. i have to use my parents allowance and of course i'm not gonna freely use everything right, because i feel sorry and i yeah. feel terrible that i still have to mm -hmm. borrow from them at mm. this age um so i remember just always nunchi buying mm -hmm. if my friends wanted to go out to somewhere mm -hmm. nice i would always have to think twice mm -hmm. and say no a lot and the thing I love now is that I am financially independent. I yeah. have full control over how I spend and how I save. Mm -hmm. But it's just that I, I wish I got to know like the value of money at a younger age. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the question. <laughs> We like went full circle. We, I mean, we this like, is what we do for our wine nights anyway. So I, she was like, oh my gosh, like, oh, am I going to be able to like share some tips? I'm like, Ashley, it's literally going to be like our weekly thing. <laughs> my regrets in my 20s. Mm. Oh, I really didn't think about this. I saw the question, but I like didn't even think about it. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Regrets in my 20s. I feel like I lived my 20s to how I imagined it to be. Mm. But the like I guess a regret that I can't also control is like I don't think I was happy um I think I was just kind of like oh okay I'm gonna do it do 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 and so I think something I want to focus on for like the next decade is I want to focus on like being a little bit more in control because I feel like even though as a freelance people think like oh my gosh freelance is like the way to go you don't have to do nine to five but there's so much control involved mm -hmm. and i had to be very disciplined for that and not everyone can do it for you sometimes it's like eight to eleven like yeah. eight a.m to well, eleven no i'm like dreaming two. about mistakes that i like i dream about like oh my gosh i uploaded on the wrong day it like it's like what i sleep with and so i think i just want to like kind of enjoy life more i think that is something i mean i'm not saying like oh my gosh my 20s was like a waste no i did enjoy it i just feel like mentally i just wasn't 
in the same level as like how it seemed, how it was perceived on social media, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's just like something I'm like trying to like work on. And I have been getting better at it because before I would be like so paranoid if I missed a week of upload, but now I'm just like, you know, it's okay. Everyone's gonna understand and just let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of thing. So I think just being a little bit easy on myself, I think that is something I sort of, like if that makes sense, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> you hustled so much during your 20s. Yeah. And that's why I feel, I hope that you get to enjoy, actually enjoy your life a little more yeah. in your 30s. Because you deserve right. it. But I do enjoy life. Like mm -hmm. I love hanging out of with course. like all of y'all mm -hmm. and just in general, like I've got, I was able to travel so much in my 20s. But I think um, when I like sit back and look, I'm like, was I doing that for myself? I think that is what I always think about Yojume, like mm -hmm. these days, because I felt like I was just like on the go all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, that is, I guess that that's not like a regret though. So I don't, I don't have any regrets in my 20s. And that's I good. think I'm very blessed for that. Um, I just want to do better in my 30s. Mm. What can you say to your 20s self? It might sound cliche, but I would tell myself to not be so afraid of failure. Mm -hmm. I think I avoided so many things because I'm like so afraid of failure that I try to act like I wasn't into that or mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that because yeah. I didn't want to actually try and mm -hmm. go for it. I don't want to get hit with the failure or like mm -hmm. even rejection. So right. I remember just shying away from so many different opportunities or things that I could have done mm -hmm. just because I was afraid of not working out mm -hmm. in the end. But 20s is all about failure. It's yeah. about failing and trying again uh -huh. um, and failing again and trying again because those failures will help you grow. Right. And I just wish that I could have taken more chances instead mm -hmm. of just being like, no, no, I'm okay with that. When mm. in, inside, I was like, I desperately want that, but I'm right. just scared to go for it because I don't want to seem like a failure. Yeah. And I don't, yeah. I agree with you. Mm. Like 20s, it's, there's so much pressure because you're just leaving your teenage years and now you have the two in front of your age. I would tell my 20, 20 year old Joan, I would say, you're not all that. Like, I would say, like, calm down. Like, you have so much more time. You you don't have to go at, you don't have to hustle this fast. Just slow down. Take it easy because you have, like, so many years ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Like, slow down. <laughs> and not feel too pressured by, like, everything. I think the reason why I, like, talk about college so often is because it was, like, one of those the chapter in my life where I learned a lot and I had the most fun in college but then in the moment I was so stressed out and I was like oh my gosh I hate school like I hope to graduate ASAP but I would tell myself now I was like enjoy that because that time won't come back unless you go to grad school but grad school is going to be different so enjoy your youth you know like we hear that so often when we're young but it is so true because mm. it gets harder when you're adulting mm -hmm. I would also tell myself to stop being so uptight. Mm. I think because I wanted to be that little, like, perfect little daughter, perfect little sister, perfect leader, perfect Actually, friend. Actually, I know it's so crazy. I never yeah. thought you were uptight when I first met you. I changed a lot. Yeah, when people were, like, telling me about how uptight she was, I was like, she's not uptight. You're not like that anymore. I think I just confused being a good leader with being uptight. Mm. I know I could have been more lenient and mm. just in all aspects, just a little laid back and more chill. But I think all those responsibilities just pressured me so much mm. to be uptight about everything. And just be like, no, 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 I'm going to be the best person. I'm going to be someone that people can look up to. Mm. But I feel like I missed out on so many good moments because of that. You did what you had to do as a leader. You did a great job. You really did. You need to give yourself more credit. I would tell 20 year old Ashley, give yourself more credit. <laughs> Not a question, but please take a sip of your wine. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in your 30s? Ooh. <laughs> 
I feel like I'm still gonna be working super hard because yeah. I just started making oh. money on my own mm -hmm. like two years ago. Yeah. But I really want to travel more. Like yes. travel alone. I would like to yes. travel alone because I feel like you discover so much about yourself mm -hmm. when you're in an unknown foreign place with mm -hmm. people that don't really speak your language mm -hmm. and you just have time to focus on yourself and mm -hmm. what you really want. Yeah. Like there was only one time I got to travel alone and it wasn't even really alone. Like I went to Japan and I stayed mm -hmm. with um, Lisa's family uh -huh. at their house. But I did like roam around by myself mm -hmm. to the local towns and stuff and I loved that so much. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get a lot of opportunity to do that in my 20s, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping to do that in my 30s. And Next just year. get to know myself better. Mm. We have to make a trip to like Europe, and for one of the days, we'd be like, all right, Ashley, today you can do whatever you want, and I'm gonna do whatever I want. We'll meet here at six o'clock. <laughs> that would be That's fun, because so cool. we'll just like focus on what matters to us, or yeah. you know, I think we all need that like, chayu mm -hmm. like. I don't know how to translate that. Freedom, yo, hey? Freedom vacation. It's it translates really weird. Yeah, and then we can meet back up and share with each what other. What we did. That'd be cute. Okay, we're gonna do that. No matter Please. what. Please, we have to. We always talk about it. I think working in social media, it, it was such a blessing and I'm very thankful for for all of the support. But like there were so many moments where I felt like I was living for that. And I always try to catch myself before that happens. I'm like, okay, it's time to enjoy it, turn off the camera. And I feel like I do a pretty good job at it, but I just feel like it's always in the back of my mind, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm, I'm constantly thinking about it. And even though like I do a good job at like, you know, dividing everything, I just want to like, pressure myself less and I think that is what I look forward to in my 30s because um, yeah I want to slow down a little bit and I've been saying this since 2019 like I remember like all of like our friends we were like we were so cute we were like sitting in this like large circle and we're like all right so what is your new year's resolution do you remember that yeah. we were I all remember sharing. what I said though I really don't remember what I said no you I think you said something about like work because that was the last year you were tied down to your yeah, company. Yeah, it was like three months before I was right. going to be I done. Think, I think it was something in the lines of that. Mm. Um, I just remember everyone like shared what they like wanted and then COVID hit so we never got to follow up and like, mm. so did your New Year's resolution come true? But it was just, um, that was, that's that been something that I wanted to work on since like 2019 so hopefully when I actually turn 30, yeah. I'll be able to really incorporate that mm. into my lifestyle. Uh, I want to also like take off some financial burden for my parents mm. as well. Just because they've done so much for me. Like I said before, they provided for me for mm. like 8 years. I was in Korea by myself practicing and even after I debuted. So I want to be able to spend more time with them. Yeah. Um, see them more often because I realize we don't have... A lot of time with them left and also like yeah. okay we lived I lived with them until I was 20 mm -hmm. and then I've been here for 10 years now mm -hmm. and I don't know if I'm ever gonna live with them again mm -hmm. so it's like how often am I gonna see them maybe right. like if they move to Korea then maybe I'll see them more mm -hmm. often but if not I'll maybe see them like max twice a year or something yeah. or for like two weeks at a time mm -hmm. and I just realized that we are not going to be able to spend that much time together mm -hmm. Um, so in my 30s, I hope to be able to, yeah, just spend more time with them and mm. also provide for them so they're not as stressed and burdened by financial stuff. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's so, that's so beautiful. I mean, you've been doing that already for, <laughs> since you were in your no, 20s. I so. think that's why I love hearing that because it's like, it is a struggle, mm. but like, you will be great at it. You grow so much by doing that and so... I love hearing that. Whenever like you say that or like, you know, our friends say that, I'm always like, oh, like, <laughs> yes, we're all on the same page. <laughs> yeah. Last question is, how does it feel turning 30 together as friends? Honestly, it's so, it feels so dependable. Yeah. And I just feel like I have a very strong tree to lean on <laughs> because I'm I, a very strong tree. Yes. <laughs> We're kind of doing similar work, yeah. so we relate to each other in that sense. Right. And, um, just 
get each other in terms of where yeah. we are in life and I feel like no matter what comes our way you know I'll be able to talk to her about it and yeah vent to her and cry and <laughs> go through these things together yes so I'm yeah. really excited for our yeah. next 10 years oh my gosh yeah. like turning 40 wine spell episode nobody's gonna watch <laughs> Oh my gosh! No, but I am kind of with you on that. Like, um, as mentioned earlier, I graduated with students who were born in 92. So they were all like slightly younger, but they would be like February 92. So we would be like a few months. I don't know, but when I like meet people who were born in 1991, which we don't have a lot of those, I get so excited. So when you told me you were born in 1991, I was like, oh my gosh. And like, what was it? Like last weekend, Erin and my friend from college, Ash, her name is Ashley too, we were all meeting and we all got excited because we were all born in 1991. Mm -hmm. It was, I don't know, like for me, because I went to school with kids who were always a year younger than me, I always felt like, I don't know, I never could relate to mm -hmm. the monkeys, like the monkey ear, <laughs> or um, just in general, like I, I always felt like, oh my gosh, am I too old for this? Like whatever. But then when I met you, I was like, oh my gosh, like she's my age, and you know, like that felt comforting to me when I first met you. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I never said this to you, but I never had a lot of friends who were born in 1991. Mm -hmm. Like literally, we live so close to each other. We, um, it's just like so convenient. And every time we were going through something, like she'd be like, what are you doing? And we we're like, FaceTime. I just feel very comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's nice, and I think like the whole idea of like turning 30, the number is scary for some reason, but I feel like the number will be scarier in the year 40, <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like excited about 30 because I still feel very young, and I still feel like there's so much more to do, mm -hmm. and, and like even like us being like, okay, we have to travel together and have our own like solo time too, like I think that would be like a new chapter and a chapter that is more independent at the same time. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like our 30s will be able to enjoy life together and not have to worry too much about like other factors as well. Mm. Because I feel like in our 20s, we were so like worried about like saving money or making money. But in our 30s, I feel like we have, we're like, okay, let's just like let it go a little mm. bit and treat ourselves once in a while. And I feel like we can do that. Mm -hmm. I am very grateful that we can turn 30. And it's not like you're turning 30 like a month ahead. It's like days, yeah. days apart. So even just that is cool. Three days behind you, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's just um, having like a girlfriend by your side yeah. to get through these life events with. Mm -hmm. It's very special. and Of course. Yeah, I'm very grateful for it. Yeah, me too. Just think that 30s will be like, hopefully, it'll be like a breeze. Yeah. But not too fast. I don't want it to go <laughs> too fast. Like, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I really can't imagine what's gonna happen in our 30s. Like, I, I don't know, know right? what's going to happen, but I am. I am all for surprises, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm looking forward to whatever it may be. Um, I think I'm going to get to know myself better in my 30s, mm -hmm. even though it may sound late, it's never too late. Never too late. Um, and I'm still going to take risks mm -hmm. and do what I love. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Cheers to yeah. life. Cheers. But I'm done, oh so gosh. have a little sip. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> that was like I a very so generous <laughs> pour. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Yeah, so there's gonna be a part two on Joan's channel where we answer more questions. So please go and watch it. Don't stop here. Yeah, we haven't filmed it yet, but there might be more interesting questions on her channel. <laughs> We're ready to be 30 and flirty and thriving. Yes. So if you are around our age, don't be scared. Yeah. Three zero. I mean, it's just a number. I yeah, mean, people will look at you differently, but just be like. <laughs> as long as you have like that childlike heart, yeah. I feel like you won't age. Yeah, don't take it too seriously. <laughs> now that I look at life, I'm like learning to go with the flow mm -hmm. and ride the wind. Is that even a saying? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for wishing us a happy birthday. Yeah. 
and I hope you guys will look forward to our 30s too. Cheers! You bye bye. Give me some more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, cheers! I'll see you guys for part two. Bye! bye.